Welcome Bears. We can't wait to have you guys on campus. Let's take a look around. I hope you enjoy this awesome tour. Let's go. This is our administration office, our main office on the campus. And the entrance to it is in front of the school. Let's go take a look inside. Now, let's talk about the inside of our main office. Before anything else, if anybody's gonna come to talk to maybe a counselor or anything dealing with our front office, make sure they have a photo ID. It's a requirement to come into Arvin High School, and that's for everybody's protection. Now, right around this corner over here to my left is our attendance desk, located right here. This is where you deal with anything dealing with attendance. First off, let's say that you have a doctor's note to clear you for the day. This is where you would turn it in. Anything else you need to deal with, maybe check why you were marked absent or anything like that, make sure you talk to the attendance office. Now, right over here, very important desk on our campus. This is our counseling secretary. Why are they so important? First off, they're awesome. But on top of that, this is who you would talk to whenever you need to make an appointment to talk to your counselor. So let's say, for instance, you have a class that you wanted to change. You would come to the counseling secretary, fill out a piece of paper, and then your counselor would call you out. Now, where are your counselors? Right here to the left are all the offices of our counselors on our campus. This is where you get called out. Let's say it says, Mr. Guzman, counselor. This is where you would come, look for the door with his name, located right there, and you talk to Mr. Guzman. Again, schedule changing, anything dealing with you and your schedule, talk to your counselors. Or hey, maybe you need somebody to talk to. Make sure you reach out to them. Now, over here, another important place in our main office, located with an awesome picture of a bear on it, is our registrar office. Why is this so important? Let's say you change your address or your phone number. You're not getting your report cards. You're not getting any calls home. Well, the registrar office is where you would come and change it. Talk to the person in there and then make sure they fix it on our Synergy so we have the right information. Also, if there's a time that you need maybe a transcript or anything like that, you could come over here and ask for it in our registrar office. Now, one of the last things I wanna show you, right down this long hallway is our admin team. That's our principal and our APs, and they're on that other side, and that's where you can go in case you need anything, because again, Mr. Watts is always available. Also located in front of the school is our student services office. This is where our community counselors that are part of our bear support team are located. So if you have an appointment with them, this is where you would go. Now on top of that, this is an amazing place because this is where our bear advantage program is located. As you can see here from the pictures, they do a lot of different things on our campus. It's a program that after school, students can come and do so many different things from a video game club, baking, and among other things, dance. They have stuff for you to do out here like uh, foosball tables and ping pong. It's just a great place if you wanna go somewhere after school. The next stop on our tour is the Professional Development Center, the PDC. This is where teachers can get copies, among a lot of other things that help them out in their classroom. The next stop on our tour is the Arvin High School Library. Now, this is a place where you can check out books, get something you wanna read, and a lot of times when we're on campus, it's also somewhere you can go do your work. There's computers available, there's um, tutoring after school also happens here. There's a lot of things going on in our library. Don't think that this is only a place you can come when you need a book, there's so many different things you can do. Our librarian is amazing, Ms. Valdez, she's super awesome, so make sure you come by and check it out. Also, this is a front entrance that's located in front of the school, but we have another entrance in the back that's in the 10 wing. We'll show you some of that later. Right across from the L building and next to the bus drop off is the WO office, the wall office, but it's also our migrant office. So anytime you get a call slip from the migrant office or if you're a migrant student, make sure you come and check it out. The Dean's office is located in the L building. That's an octagon shaped building that has all kinds of help for Arvin High School students. Our Bear Advocacy Center is located in L8. Our OCI on-campus intervention program is located in L1. We also have our substance abuse counselor, our intervention specialist, and our social worker, all located in this building. So once again, you don't come here just when you get in trouble. You come here when you need help. Right before you get to the bungalows, down this hallway, is our ag building. Anytime you see an ag on your schedule, AG1, AG2, you go through these doors to get to that classroom. I'm here 
and our bungalows located in the back of the school by the basketball courts. Anytime you see a B on your schedule, this is where you need to be. B1, B2, B20, whatever it is. Make sure you head to the back next to those basketball courts. See you guys there. We are in the back of the finance office by the 10 wing. And the reason that we're back here is this is where you go for the activities and athletics office. So if you need a sports packet, you go in here and that's where you pick it up. We're down the 10 hallway again. And the reason is this is the back entrance to our library. Why is that important? During the school day, this is how you get into the library. But you wanna make sure that you always check the door to see if there's a sign in case they're testing. Sometimes they test in there and we wanna make sure we don't bother them. Now, down the hallway is a textbook window. That's where you pick up all your textbooks. Let's go check it out. This is a textbook window. This is where you go to pick up your textbooks, ID cards, and if the door's ever closed because of testing, you could check out this window to see if you get some help. Behind me is the Arvin High School gym. This is where our basketball, volleyball, and wrestling teams have their games and matches. Also, for PE, more than likely, you'll be in the gym at some point in time. To your right is the boys' entrance. To your left is the girls' entrance for PE. But the gym isn't just used for that. We also have our ASB rallies, band color guard competitions, and even some few other things like our March Madness tournament. Now, let's check out room 38. Room 38 is our career center. That's where you can go get information about colleges, scholarships, and if you're looking to get a job and need a work permit, you need to go talk to the career center. Next on the tour is our cafeteria. It's located next to the gym. Now, this is where you go to get nutrition, snack, lunch, breakfast, depending on how long you're here, maybe even dinner. Now the cool thing about Auburn High School, this isn't the only place you can pick up your lunch. Let me show you the other right now. I'm here standing under one of two quick cafes located at Auburn High School. If you're on the west side of campus and you want nutrition or lunch, you can go here instead of having to walk all the way to the cafeteria. They're located in the L buildings, one on this side and one on the opposite side of the L building. What I want to show you next is our health center. This is located by our cafeteria, and this is where you go when you're not feeling too well. You can take a little break here, or if it's bad enough, they can make sure they call home to get you some help. Behind me and across all these walls is some amazing art that's done by some Auburn High School students. You need to make sure you come and check it out. So what's also pretty cool about this place is this is where our Auburn High School snack bar is located. Now what's awesome about the Auburn High School snack bar is that it's a place you come anytime you feel like you're a little hungry and you want a snack. During nutrition break or lunch, they're available. So if you're ever feeling like, you know, you need a little something, make sure you come here. They'll help you out. Located behind me is our Performing Arts Center or Auditorium. Now there's so many different things that happen inside this place. We have band concerts, plays by a drama department, talent show, air bang, among a lot of other things. Heck, we even have band concerts in there. But remember, anytime any of that stuff happens, this is a place you need to get into. Behind me and up these stairs are the 100 classrooms. If anything on your schedule says 100 and up, you gotta make sure you go up these stairs. Now, there's two entrances to the 100 classrooms, one lo located by our auditorium and the other located by our main office. I'm here at our finance office, but I wanna show you something else first. Right behind me here is our skateboard and scooter rack. If you ever bring one to school, make sure you talk to somebody in the front office and they'll help you make sure it gets locked up and then you can get it at the end of the day. But now, let's talk about our finance office, located right here. This is where you go anytime you need to pay off any of your debt, if you need to buy PE clothes, anything dealing with ASB, anything in the bulletin that says finance office, this is where you go. But make sure that you go during nutrition break, after school, before school, or lunch, just not during class time. Hey, 
Were you expecting to see Mr. Watts? Well, this is his office, and he's a lot taller. But anyways, the reason we're showing you this is, again, this is the office of Mr. Watts. And this is a place you can go in case you need to tell him anything. Now, if you ever see him walking around school, make sure you take the time to say hi and introduce yourself. Because Mr. Watts wants to get to know all the students and staff on our campus. Again, Mr. Watts. <laughs>